Hi Year 3, welcome to Maths today. So, um, we're using our multiplication skills that we've done so far um, to work out the answers to some problems today. Okay, so today I really need you um, to bring your strong skills uh, along with your 2, 4 and 8 times tables. We're going to bring everything together now and really look at the three of those times tables and how they all link. So, to begin with, you have a few questions that looks like this. I'm telling you that 30 lots of 2 is 60. I'm leaving a gap, 30 lots of 4, but I'm also going to tell you that 30 lots of 8 is 240. So, it's your job to fill in this blank spot here. If you know what 30 lots of 2 is, 30 lots of 4 must be double. So double 60 is 120. Double 6 is 12, double 60 is 120. And then 30 times 8 is again double 240. Okay, see that rule, double it and double it again. Okay, if you know your 2s, double it and double it again, and you'll be able to know your 8s. So, your turn. Okay, I'm telling you, 40 lots of 2 is 80. Ooh. 40 lots of 8 is 320. So now you should pause the video and tell me what goes in here. Do that now. Okay, remembering we're doubling it at each level. So double 80 is, of course, 160. Double 160 is 320, okay? 8, 16, 32, all right? Okay, there's that. Then you're also going to encounter some questions like this. Do not be alarmed by two equal signs, okay? Just as we do with all of them, all missing box problems, we work out what we do know first, okay? Three lots of eight. We should be strong on our eight times tables now, 24. Again, eight times three over here is 24, making sure we keep those equal signs in the same place. Then we have something times four, okay? So I need something times is by four that's the same as 24. We could count in fours until we get to 24, or some of you may already know four lots of six is 24. Okay, and then you'd have 24, 24, and 24. Okay, your turn. Okay, do pause the video and have a good go at this one, okay? Thinking about what you do know before you attempt to figure out what goes in that box, okay? Right, all done. Let's go through it. So we have two lots of eight here, 16. Eight lots of two here is exactly the same, 16. Something times 4 is 16, 4 lots of 4, well done you, that's what you got. No worries if you didn't, go back and have another think, slow it down, go back to the beginning of the video and go back through it, okay? Then, after part 1, part 2 is a question similar to this, so let me tell you a story. Our friend Ethan was busy last week. He was making brownies for all of us. Lucky us, 
he has made 40 brownies. Okay, thank you, Ethan. 40 brownies. Now, he is going to deliver them to us, but he can only get boxes of two. Okay, boxes with a space for two brownies. So, box has two spaces. How many boxes would he need to deliver 40 brownies? Okay, 40 brownies and two boxes. How many boxes would he need? So the question is asking you 40 divided by a box with two spaces is going to give you the number of boxes that he'll need. Okay, 40 into two spaces is going to give us 20, of course. Half of 40 is 20. He will need 20 boxes. Okay, what about if he decided to get boxes with space for four brownies, okay? Four brownies. This time he has 40, 40 brownies and each box has a space for four of them. How many boxes is he going to need? 40 divided by four shared out by four is 10, of course. Okay then, last but not least, what if he decided no, no boxes of four, boxes of eight this time, okay? 40 brownies divided into eight spaces is going to give us the number of boxes that we will need. 40 divided by eight, how many eights are there in 40? Now you see that relationship, we had um, 40 divided by 4 was 10 and 40 divided into boxes with two spaces was 20. We're doubling it every time, okay, see that relationship? You have a question very similar to that um, and do have a go at it, okay. Then you move on to part three. Now I'm not going to go through part three with you because I want to give you a challenge. But what I would say is read part three very carefully. I went to do it and it's incredibly wordy. Okay, it's a little tricky. Think carefully about it. I would get a piece of paper and, and maybe do some drawings alongside it. So I look forward to seeing how you get on. Most of you should be having a good go at part one and part two today. Um, and if you're up for a challenge, go on to part three and four. Uh, and I look forward to seeing how you get on, okay? Do remember, don't struggle through it. If you're really on that red traffic light, okay, just do what you can, okay? Well done, guys.